neuroscience is the study of the brain, and in particular, um, how the brain gives rise to the mind. Um, that is, how is it that the physical mechanisms of the brain lead us to do the sorts of things that we think of the mind as doing? Can we see these physical mechanisms at work? In the fMRI scanner at Princeton, research subject Tyler faces a rudimentary dilemma designed to show increased activity in parts of the brain associated with emotion. You're walking along a country road when you hear a plea for help coming from some roadside bushes. You encounter a woman who is covered with blood. The woman explains that she was attacked while hiking and asks you to take her to a nearby hospital. Her initial inclination is to help this woman who will probably die if she does not get to the hospital soon. ACPC. However, if you help this woman, her blood will ruin your designer suit. Is it appropriate for you to leave this woman by the side of the road? No, it's not appropriate. Tyler's answer comes quickly and is consistent with the majority of Green and Cohen's data. Most people say, no, that's not OK. Well, my theory, uh, developed with John Cohen and other people, uh, is that on the one hand, we have an intuitive emotional response that makes us say, no, terrible, don't do that. And uh, if you look at the brain data, that is lots of people answering lots of questions like this and averaging it all together, what you see, you see increased activity in parts of the brain that are associated with emotion and what we call social cognition. Green and Cohen's findings suggest that if the woman were a faceless person on the other side of the world, dying in the Congo, for example, Tyler might have felt OK leaving her by the side of the road. But because she's right there in front of him, he has an intuitive emotional response that tells him to help her and stops him from committing what many would call evil. <laughs> 